So updating the norms for the MMPI-3 was one of the important objectives for developing the test. The MMPI-2 and MMPI-2RF norms had been collected in the mid-1980s, and they represented the population of the United States at the time, but we've had some significant demographic changes and experiential changes in the U.S. population since the mid-1980s and the 30 uh, years following. And so, for example, about 82% of members of the MMPI-2 and MMPI-2RF normative sample were white. Um, when we look at the normative or the demographic composition of the population uh, today, it's closer to 60%. Uh, certainly the projections for the 2020 census are uh, closer to 60% white. So we knew that we wanted to update the norms to represent demographically uh, the uh, current population of the United States, uh, and that included collecting uh, individual, uh, a much larger sample of individuals of Hispanic uh, origin, uh, as well as a separate set of norms for the Spanish translation of the MMPI-3. Uh, so the University of Minnesota Press, the publisher, uh, retained the services of a market research firm uh, with expertise in collecting national data and particularly reaching difficult uh, uh, to identify populations and recruiting them for uh, research uh, purposes. Uh, we gave them targets based on the 2020 census projections uh, and they collected the data throughout the U.S. in close uh, collaboration and consultation with the research uh, team. Uh, and that allowed us eventually to compose an MMPI-3 normative sample that indeed matches well the demographic projections uh, for the 2020 uh, census and that adequately represents the current population of the United States.